What's up everyone, Daniel. I want to go ahead and bring you all a full-blown review on the CNC WE Tattoo Machine. I'm not going to talk too much about the specs because you can go to the website, the CNC website, and kind of read about them yourselves on your end. I want to go ahead and basically try and touch base on the user side. I want to go ahead and touch base more on the performance side. So if you don't own one of these yet, but you're looking to get one, this may be a good video to shed some light for you. With that being said, I want to go ahead and start off by saying that in my opinion, I would call this a true wi a truly wireless tattoo machine simply because there's nowhere to plug in an external power source. Like you can't plug in an RCA. This is a wireless machine. So as you can see right here, this is a power cell. So it does come with two power cells and then it comes with the machine itself. Then you plug in your cartridge right here, as you can see. It's very, very straightforward. You have your pins right there. Those are power pins. It connects to this part down here, the power cell, and then you're good to go. You charge the power cell up here. As you can see, and it comes with a wire to charge it as well. I kind of like, and it's a very, very strong magnet. So when you're putting this on, you kind of want to be careful. So that way you don't break these pins right here. I kind of like put my finger right here and one side. So that way it doesn't really slam into it. So that way, you know, you can kind of brace it. Be careful because it will pinch you. As you can see right here, it's very powerful. Caught my glove right there. So be careful with the magnet, you know, find your groove, how you want to place it in there. I would, I don't recommend just kind of throwing it on there and letting it clamp. Put it on there with care so that way you can have this machine for some time to come. But with that being said, it is a very, very good and powerful machine in my opinion. I love this machine. Uh, the power cells are great. They get through hours. If I'm correct, I think I run it around 7.8 or anywhere from 7 to 8 volts, 8.5 uh, max, give or take. And this will last me about two to four hours give or take solid and i've used this machine for shading for color packing um for lining for pretty much everything at the moment when i bought this machine it was in a package and it came with i think a 3.5 stroke a 3.5 millimeter stroke and it also shipped with a three and a four millimeter stroke as well i have not changed into those yet this is still with the standard 3.5 if i am correct don't quote me i could be wrong um but nonetheless, this is a great machine. It is uh, very, very powerful. Uh, you get needle depths right here. So as you can see, you can kind of change that around, find whatever needle depth you want. Let's actually go ahead and load a needle in there. Let me turn it on so you guys can kind of hear it here. Uh, let's open up the cartridge. Then, as you can see on the power cell, you actually have the power button right there. Just hold that down. And the machine's ready to go. As you can see right here, the needle depth. You can adjust that as needed. I like to use my needle around there, give or take. I like to kind of float my needle on the skin. And as you can see right here, I want to go through the voltages. If I go to hit the negative, obviously it's down. This is the lowest setting. It also comes with a user manual that will translate like each light. So the higher I go, I'm not sure if you can see that, the light changes. It's a really, really nice and powerful tattoo machine. Again, I love this machine. I also wanna demonstrate how to wrap it real quick. Wrapping a machine of such is very, very efficient. It's super, super easy. Um, let's go ahead and do that right, uh, real quick on camera. This is a napkin. Basically, I'm gonna show you all the tools that you would need to wrap it. And wrapping is subjective to each their own. Um, but for this here, I went ahead and I have a plastic sleeve, obviously here. This is just a regular uh, hairband, like a little rubber, hairband that you can get anywhere like at Walmart, even the dollar store, comes with like packs of a thousand or 500 for a couple of bucks, get those. And I have obviously the grip tapes. I have previously had them wrapped, but I unwrapped it to show you all how to wrap it for this video. Now I'm gonna go ahead and just shut it off for now. And then I wanna go ahead and just begin the process of wrapping it here. Just gonna go ahead and simply drop it in here up top. Has a hole ready for the cart. 
Now this was typically for like, let's say if this extended longer around, you can go ahead and just kind of hair tie it down or you can kind of just simply put it on there anyway to keep it firm to the body frame. That's subjective, you know. I, I used it earlier to keep the other plastic because the other plastic was longer. And then this rear is actually a napkin. So it's just a blue napkin or a white napkin. You roll it up into a rectangle and this was a wrapping around it. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug that back over. And then I'm gonna go ahead and continue the process of just simply wrapping it. And again, this is super, super simple. So your napkin, you would just have it, roll it up into a rectangle and then just wrap it around and then literally repeat the process again with the grip tape. At the beginning of the grip tape, I kind of pull. So that way it holds a tight, firm lock. So that way that napkin doesn't slide around when I'm, you know, really holding that machine there. And then once you get a few good ones in there, you can just kind of let loose and let the cushion start setting in. Just roll it up like that. Then you're good to go. It's completely covered. And then I use this other piece of the grip tape for the top part. So that way my hand's comfortable up top too. And this is just full comfort. I don't pull any stress on this. I just leave it so that way I get a full cushion there. And that is literally it. I'm ready to begin tattooing. I can go ahead and start outlining this right here. I just want to go ahead and kind of reiterate here and let you all know that I've done, you know, some basic fundamentals with this. I pulled great outstanding lines with this. I've done great pepper shading. Like if you drop it really all the way to the lowest voltage here, you can get some really nice pepper shading with just that voltage alone. You can get some really, I have it right here, as you can see, this tattoo right here, I did with the WE. The lines came out nice. The lines is a 15 round shader. And this is uh, the dots right here or with a three round liner. And this was done with the CNC WE tattoo machine. And we're gonna go ahead and complete this one with the uh, WE as well, but I just want to go ahead and point that out. I thought the need to point that out that in my opinion, this would be great for soft shading, depending on the stroke as well. I mean, be considerate of that. But in my opinion, you can go ahead and achieve all of the above. You can go ahead and achieve lining. You can go ahead and achieve some soft shading and even some pepper shading with this. Um, probably even some more things depending on your technique, your voltage, how you move your hand, etc. But this is a power horse of a machine. I think that this machine is a kind of all in one and again depending on the stroke that you're using and the technique that you're applying i think is a big factor to consider i wanted to go ahead and make this video as informative as possible so if i may have missed out on anything specific that you may want to know by all means please feel free to drop them in the comments down below and i will go ahead and do my best to guide that in the best possible direction but for the most part let's switch over to time lapse and let's go ahead and pull some lines and begin this tattoo right here show you all how the XWE pulls lines right here real time so let's just go ahead and do that for you all
So as you all can see, we're pulling some really smooth and saturated lines here. Okay, so as you can see, we are now done with the outline. I use the CNC WE for this outline right here. As you can see, it came out beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same tattoo machine to add some shading, just to kind of demonstrate the palette here and what it's capable of doing. These lines are very, very clean. It is a very, very nice outline. Let's go ahead and head back to the time-lapse mode and let's get to shading. guys we're back over here i'm gonna go ahead and cut it short i was gonna go ahead and color pack but i decided not to i decided to go ahead and make an entirely different video on how it color packs just for the sake of watching purposes i don't want this video to get too too long so again we're gonna go ahead and do color packing review on a different video but as you guys can see right here the machine did a solid job look at those leaves look at the shading in my professional opinion, the machine is a solid machine. Um, for the shading, I dropped it all the way down to the lowest voltage, which I believe is five, don't quote me. Um, for the leaves right here and everything else, I was at around 7.5, 7.8, give or take. So that's the ballpark voltage of what I was using for this specific tattoo machine. This is silicone skin. I'll go ahead and do a review on this specific skin and where you can get it at shortly as well. Um, but there you guys have it. Again, I want to go ahead and keep this video short and straight to the point. And we did the review on the CNC WE tattoo machine. It is a flawless machine in my professional opinion. For those who are looking to pick it up, I highly recommend you do so. And again, this is not a sponsored video. I am doing this simply because I feel like I could shed light on people that are going to purchase this machine in the near future or today or whenever you're going to purchase it. But there you guys have it. Um, long story short, it is a great tattoo machine. You saw it work in action. If you have any questions, by all means, please feel free to drop them in the comments down below. I'll do my best to assist you in the best possible direction. If you're not, be sure to give me a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as well, as I would genuinely appreciate your support. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notifications. Thank you all for tuning in. You'll have a great day.